Hello and welcome to a very special Colour with Claire review. Today I'm reviewing Colourist's Special Effects by Helen Elliston. You may recognise Helen's name from the Inky series of colouring books available on Amazon, which are hugely popular. So there are books such as Inky Whimsy, Inky Mandalas and Inky Lifestyle. There's quite a few in her series, so you may have seen her name around before. This book, however, is not a colouring book. It is something very, very different. Now, before I get into what it's about, you may remember me reviewing a book, this book here called Colour Workshop by Rachel Reinert, which is basically a guide that shows you how to do certain uh, techniques with your colouring. And I thought that that book was hands down the best um, instruction book on colouring, the most uh, detailed and informative book that there could ever be and I didn't think anything was ever going to top that book. Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> um, this book is fantastic. There is, it's 10 out of 10 straight off the bat. I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna mess around. It's 10 out of 10. Colour Workshop, still an absolutely fantastic book as well and there's definitely things in here that you can't find in there and vice versa so I'm not saying buy this one, don't buy that one. They're both brilliant books. But I didn't think anything could be more detailed than that book and it turns out that it can. <laughs> uh, this book, absolutely imperative for colourists who want to update their skills or learn new things or just upgrade their um, colouring capabilities. So it is a tips and tricks tutorial book basically and it's absolutely crammed with information and help and support and ideas. It's completely, I mean every page you can see there's barely a margin because it's just so crammed with information. It's absolutely amazing. It must have took so much time and effort to put this together. I can't even imagine. So it starts off with some fairly basic things, shading, etc. And as you'll go through the book, you will see that everything that's covered, every topic, also has accompanying space for you to test that out there and then. Um, you don't have to go off and find yourself a colouring book or an illustration or something to practice these techniques on. You can practice it right here. So as you can see, this is showing you how to uh, shade a sphere. And there's a little circle there, blank circle, for you to practice that instantly. Same with the cherry, same with the box. There's always a space for you to try whatever technique it is, which I think is absolutely fabulous. So I'm not going to spend loads of time on each page because it's a huge book. It's, I can't remember how many pages it is now. It might be 60, but it seems like more. I'll find out. Um, there's so much, there's so much content, but I'm just going to go through it so that you can see the types of things that you're going to be getting with this book because at 14 99 the price on Amazon, it's a steal. I'm telling you, this is just imperative, this book. So, how to create realistic eyes. Now, the first thing I thought when I saw this was Helen's decided to do the step-by-steps -step digitally, which doesn't make sense to me because really you should be looking at how it looks with coloured pencil or with pen, you know, because digital obviously is, it's not how it's going to look when you're colouring it. But as I went through the book, I can totally understand why Helen's done this and it really does make sense because at the end, you'll see here, this is a proper coloured pencil um, example of this tutorial, but with the digital tiles here if that if that had been done with genuine colored pencil on a piece of paper you wouldn't have been able to properly see each stage um as she was going through it because it, you wouldn't really be able to tell what was the new stage that she'd put on and what was what you've previously done if that makes sense i'm trying to explain it as best i can but with the digital tiles you can clearly see every single step individually what you have to do and that just would not work if it was coloured pencil because it would just all blends together and you just wouldn't be able to differentiate so I can definitely understand why she's done that and it's definitely the way that it should have been done so yeah it's it's just it's full it's packed full I'm not going to you know hesitate on a lot of pages because the whole point is this is a review and you can get the book for yourself and read all the tips and tricks but there is absolutely anything that you could ever think of that you've wanted to know how do I colour that how do I make lips look shiny like that you know how do I do it every single thing is covered in this book I don't think I can think of anything that hasn't been covered in this book it's it's so comprehensive 
how to do clear lenses, sunglasses, how to make it look glassy even with shadows in, how to do skin tones and as I say there's always practice pages for you to do it immediately, you know, to try that technique instantly. And here we have colouring hair and different uh, colours of hair even. And here's a practice page and you'll notice that the practice pages are usually either blank or they've not really got much on the other side because you might want to use marker pens and you don't want to ruin anything so that's a great idea so we've got realistic water drops air bubbles uh, butterflies red roses even clouds how to even draw clouds so that you don't if you haven't got clouds in the sky on that particular page you can just put them in and I don't know about you but if you do know of Helen's work you will have seen on Facebook on the groups and things just how colourful her finished colouring pages are when she's coloured them I mean every single time I see one I'm just blown away because she just it's so saturated with colour and it's just an amazing treat for the eye when I first saw this cover I just thought that is one of the best covers I've ever seen it's just it looks amazing and she's coloured this herself and you can just see all the shines and the highlights and yeah I'm just I'm one of Helen's biggest fans to be honest <laughs> her colouring definitely um so you can see here that that's again a blank page because you might want to use markers here and that this page incorporates all the tips and tricks that you've seen so far so you can be practicing highlights and shading and doing the butterfly we've even got gems and doing this sort of spherical shading here we've got how to do gold how to make candles look realistic and then we've got more um, practice bits there glowing lanterns how to do things in grey and black to make it look uh, metallic or chrome which is awesome I mean this heart just looks like it's coming off the page it's, it looks so 3D and you know the steps in this book are really sort of down to earth language it's not anything that you're going to struggle to understand even myself I mean I think I'm pretty good at colouring um, I'm definitely nowhere near the best but and I've got a lot of things to learn but sometimes some books, certain books or certain tutorials, they just make it too complicated and it's too artsy and, you know, technical. Whereas this book, really down to earth language, easy to understand, easy to follow, uh, which is something that is definitely a, a big plus about the book. So gorgeous creating pearls as well. And how to do gems. I think we just went past all the gems. You will have seen how to create this glassy look and then of course you've got all of your um, tester images there and some more gems for you to practice with now this is absolutely beautiful how to do a snowfall background or some people might know it as bokeh uh, it's basically this blurred effect and it's super easy to do and she just explains how you can use things like white gel pen and even like a tipex a correction fluid and um, just create this beautiful, beautiful backgrounds. We've got stained glass. We've got an amazing sunset. I mean, look at this. It just looks like a photograph, but she's done it with a craft knife and some oil pastel. You know, it's, it's crazy. And here, how to create this sunset as well. Now we've got how to create more background effects like water, waves, things like that. We've got wax resist things. So, I mean, it goes even beyond colouring. We've got wax resist. You know, it's ideas as well to give you some inspiration of what you can do to maximise uh, the look of each illustration you colour. So here we've got some uh, drips, like paint drips, and how to use highlights to make those look realistic. And here's another one Helen's coloured. And as you can see, it's just, it's just beautiful. I absolutely love Helen's colouring. I think if I was to choose any colourist to, to, that I would that I like best, it's Helen hands down. I just love seeing her work. It's so happy and vibrant, and I'm not going to go on about it. <laughs> uh, so how to do moon and stars on black backgrounds and fireworks with gel pens. That's interesting. Every single person's got gel pens. Uh, every single colourist is bound to have some gel pens, so you can create that easily. Now here at the back of the book. 
we have a colour wheel that you can fill in yourself. Uh, she tells you which colours obviously to use and then you can just obviously blend them into the centre or just have fun with the page. But on each um, piece of the pie, Helen has given you a prompt which you can, or, or you don't have to, but you can um, experiment. So for instance here on green, rub this section over a stone path or a concrete for texture. So they're all different sort of ideas to get those brain juices flowing on how you can jazz up your colouring pages and just make them stand out. Now here you can see that she's included test pages for colours. So you can try complementary colours or you know um, colours that are together on the colour wheel. See how they look, see how they look together before you commit it to an illustration. This was an absolutely lovely bonus, which I wasn't expecting. These are signature cards and Helen's drawn these for you, um, left a space for your name. And what you can do is when you're showing off your beautiful colouring skills on Facebook groups or Instagram or anywhere, you can have these cut out, mounted onto maybe some coloured card and put it on your photograph or next to your photograph just to say, it's a nice sweet way of saying coloured by Claire or whoever, you know. And I thought that was a really nice addition. Now here we've got colour charts for pencils. So I mean, this book, it contains absolutely everything. I don't, there's nothing Helen's missed out. It's so comprehensive. We've got colour charts for, you know, loads and loads of different pencils. And these ones are single sided here for your markers. Because obviously you don't want to ruin any colour charts. So even thought of that. And then that is it. That's the end of the book with your colour charts. And as you can see, it's a full colour cover. It's full colour throughout. So um, you can actually get this book in grayscale, which is slightly cheaper on Amazon. But to be honest, for a few more pounds, get the coloured version, I recommend, because you can just see exactly how each effect looks and how it's meant to look so that you can, you know, try and emulate that with your own colouring. And um, yeah, just... This book is something that I would recommend every single colourist to buy if you want to upgrade your colouring skills and just learn a few more things. It's wonderful. <laughs> I don't think you need me to gush any more about this book, so I'm just going to be quiet now and just say that I will leave the link for you to have a look at um, the Amazon listing in the description below. And if you want to know anything else, just let me know or contact Helen on Facebook. I'm sure she'll be happy to answer your questions. And I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.